Right now at 6 o'clock, this newly released body camera video given to the I-Team shows the moments police in the state of Washington arrested a Jacksonville Beach woman charged in the shooting death of her ex-husband in a murder-for-hire plot. That video from West Richland, Washington shows federal agents arresting 36-year-old Shanna Lee Gardner, taking her into custody at her family's home where she moved following the murder of Jared Bridegan. The 33-year-old father of four was gunned down in Jacksonville Beach after dropping off at her home the twins he shared with her. He had his two-year-old daughter from his second marriage in his back seat at the time. News for Jack's reporter Vic Michalucci shows us the video which recorded the third arrest in this crime. This happened exactly a week ago. Investigators entered Gardner's home just before 9 in the morning with a warrant for her arrest, nearly 18 months after Jared Bridegan's murder. Her mother was out front and her children were inside at the time. They're making contact at the front door right now. This video shows last week's arrest. It's body camera footage from West Richland police officers backing up federal agents with the ATF. We also see one of the detectives from Jacksonville Beach who made the cross-country trip with the arrest warrant. That's Shauna Gardner's mother, Shelly, on the bench out in front of the home she and her husband own. I'm here, Shauna. I'm outside. Investigators bring Shauna Gardner out. Inside, we can hear the two children she shared with Jared Bridegan. The twins are now 11 years old. Gardner remains calm you, as authorities take her to the police station. Can you step out for me? Yeah. We're going to go through these doors. And then the Benton County Jail. Uh, there you go. There's no talk about the bizarre and complicated case in this body camera footage. But hours later and 2,800 miles away in Jacksonville, State Attorney Melissa Nelson announced a grand jury indicted Gardner for her ex-husband's murder on charges of first-degree murder, conspiracy and solicitation for first-degree murder, and child abuse. Henry Tennant did not act alone. Mario Fernandez did not plan alone. And Shanna Gardner's indictment acknowledges her central and key role in the cold, calculated, and premeditated murder of Jared Brightigan. You're the one to ask. Gardner's husband, Mario Fernandez, has been behind bars since March on the same charges. The couple's tenant, Henry Tenen confessed to second-degree murder after his arrest in February. Investigators have not released a motive, but News for Jacks reviewed divorce documents showing a contentious relationship between Gardner and Bridegan. These records from St. John's County show they married in April of 2010, filed for divorce in February of 2015. The divorce was finalized in August 2018. Also in 2018, both Jared and Shanna remarried. It's notable that Gardner's indictment says she plotted to kill Bridegan as far back as May of 2015. These records show custody of the couple's twins was a big part of the split. Bridegan's lawyer claimed Gardner locked him out of the master bedroom, installed surveillance cameras in the children's bedroom and husband's car and canceled a June 2015 heart surgery that their son had scheduled in New York without Bridegan's consent. There was also a considerable amount of money on the table. Gardner's parents own a multi-million dollar international craft company called Stampin' Up! and gave the couple a stipend of $8,500 per month as Bridegan went to school for his master's degree. As part of the breakup, Gardner kept the couple's Ponte Vedra Beach home, but she agreed to pay Bridegan $390,000 for his stake in it. A judge temporarily granted alimony and child support payments from Gardner to Bridegan. I just checked and Gardner remains in the Benton County, Washington jail on a fugitive from justice warrant. Her next hearing is September the 14th. That's when prosecutors here in Northeast Florida will try to extradite her back to Florida. Her attorney told me he had no comment about this case because it's a pending legal matter. I'm Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, the local station.